Hello, my friends, and welcome to This Simple Sober Life. I am Joshua, and thank you so much for joining me today. It is Wednesday, and it was a beautiful day out, at least in the afternoon. The morning started off really chilly, and as soon as about an hour and a half before the, uh, the sun started setting, it started getting really chilly. So I think we're going to drop into the 30s, maybe 40s tonight. Katie took me to work and Brian picked me up this morning and Brian got me some really cool coffee. Uh, I can't wait to try it. Um, uh, uh, the store is going out of business and he, he thought of me and picked it up. It was really sweet. Um, it's some sort of rain uh, rainforest flavor. So, And it was made in America. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I kind of doubt that it came from the rainforest. But what are you going to do? And it's a, it's a bold flavor, so I like those bold flavors. And, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. But Katie had gotten me pumpkin spice, and I'm not a big fan. Smells really good, but the flavor is kind of, uh, and, and it leaves a weird film on my tongue. It's, it's odd. I don't, I don't understand it. But today is Wednesday. I am ha more than halfway through the week. And I gotta tell you, I am really tired this week. I don't know what it is. You know, ever since I started this job, I was getting up at like 3.30, 4 o'clock, no alarm, no problem. Every single day this week, my alarm has been going off and I've needed it to go off. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't wake up. I get home and my muscles are just tired. My brain's not really, you know, exhausted. You know when you get that fatigue brain and it starts getting cloudy and... All you want to do is sleep. Um, I'm not having that. It's just these, my muscles ache and they're tired. <laughs> it might have something to do with this low carb thing, which is going fantastically. Um, I'll step on the scale again this upcoming Saturday and see where I'm at. Hopefully I've lost a couple more, but <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Although I did cheat today. I got a confession to make. I, I did cheat. You know, outside of the, you know, fruits and whatnot that I'm eating, um, one of the co-workers, his wife had brought or had made uh, little mini sliders. And, um, you know, he brought in a whole tub of them uh, and shared with some of the guys and he offered me one. And I felt <clears throat> I didn't want to be like, mm, I'm on a diet. I no. Um, even though I... I could have totally told him that you know I'm, I'm eating really healthy and I could have taken the bread off the bun but she made these homemade sliders and she homemade the the buns it was like a, a, a honey wheat type thing so hopefully it wasn't as bad but I did cheat but I'm still continuing on this on this carb challenge I'm not going to give up yet um Let's see here. As of Saturday, it will have been, I think, two weeks. I'm going to have to go back and see, but I'm pretty sure it's Saturday will mark my halfway point. So that's good news. I'm ha I'm almost halfway there, and I feel good. Uh, I'm not starving like I'm, I, I was th during those first couple of days, um, <clears throat> and I'm consciously taking snacks into work. I'll take strawberries. I'll take apple slices. I'll take, I've been taking a lot of peanuts and things like that. And then for lunch, you know, a lot of times I'll have what's left over for, from dinner the night before, and then just eliminate, you know, the the carbs that I'm I'm aware of. So the potatoes, the breads, the oh, beg beg my pardon, um, the French fries and and things like that. You know, I I'll just take that and eat the um, the meat and the cheeses and the vegetables and things and and those type of things. Um. Oh. Let's see here. The guy who um, worked with me <laughs> quit today. He literally just walked out the door. Now, he's been talking about quitting since I started. And he's he's 21 years old. So he's got that mindset of he knows everything. And, you know, uh, basically the world should be handed to him. And apparently I found out today that his family has some money. So he's got that that um, that um, entitled uh, per, uh, entitled thought process behind everything that he does, and he literally 
didn't do much. <laughs> um, I'll never forget, or I'll probably forget it at some point, but I remember a time that, you know, he was complaining to me about how bad these people treated him and how much work that he did. And I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, I sweep the floors every night and I don't have to do that. Well, sweeping the floors is not with a broom over there. They have one of those sweepers that look like a Zamboni. And he literally drives it around for an hour. You could get it done in like 30 minutes. But he takes his, he took his time and he took an hour to clean up that whole shop. I don't know. I've, I've, li I've never met anyone who worked so hard to do nothing. So, you know, and when he was going on today he started as soon as he got there i'm i'm walking out today i'm quitting today i'm wa i'm leaving i'm out of here i'm like yeah okay i've heard this before but he kept saying it and he kept saying it and uh, so i started pushing him i'm like we'll do it then what are you chicken he's like oh i'll, I'll wait till lunch i'm like why wait till lunch if you're gonna quit quit just go and he did. <laughs> so I got to give him credit. He, he said he was going to do it and he followed through. So there you go. But I wish the best for him. Um, you know, that job just wasn't for him. And um, I am uh, looking into a new interest. It's not really a new interest. Um, I've actually been interested in this subject for quite a while. <clears throat> and it's something that I could potentially potentially make a career out of if I if I enjoy it enough right now I'm going through a um, sort of a preliminary phase so what it is it's it's a um, it's a boot camp to become a full stack developer and what that does is a full stack developer uh, handles both the front end and back end um, of coding computer coding and, you know, I've always, I, I took a, a coding class in high school and, you know, I really found it interesting. I just never really followed through. I found other passions that I was interested in. Um, <clears throat> but I've always been interested in computers and things like that. I used to tear them apart when I was a kid and try and rewire them. Um, and I've always been interested in electronics and technology and how things work and, and, and that kind of thing. So I saw an ad come up on Facebook for this coding school. Um, they're based out of Utah and um, it's a it's a, like a six to nine month program uh, part time and I can do it at my own pace and in my own time so I could schedule it you know uh, when I'm not working my butt off over it at the other at the steel company. Um, but for this the next 30 days um, I have to go through like a preliminary course, mainly to judge my um, level of interest in it, my um, expectations and my, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, a commitment level. So I have to be able to put in at least 15 hours a week in order to stay in the program and, and do that. And if I'm able to, um, you know, do this at least, uh, if I can do at least 15 hours of this preliminary course in a week, then I could qualify for a scholarship, which is really kind of cool. I'm kind of aiming for that because um, my credit right now is, is just terrible. So financing it probably won't be an, uh, um, an option. But if it doesn't work out now, maybe I'll look into it a little later. I'm not even really wanting to start it until after the new year because I've got so much other uh, stuff going on. But lots of balls up in the air trying to juggle. Um, I have not forgotten about the uh, Life of Awesome uh, Change series. I am still working on that. And I've actually uh, bulleted out the videos that I'm going to produce. I've written the intro. <clears throat> Um, I've got almost all of the second script done and so now I just need to work on the other scripts. My plan is to, you know, I want to get all of those scripts done so that I could potentially shoot all of the videos in one day. 
That way I'm um, using my time efficiently and um, maximizing um, you know, uh, the value and the time that goes into it. And then if I feel later on that something needs to be added, I can always add it in. <clears throat> Sorry, I beg your pardon. But that's what's been going on. It's been quite a bit of stuff. So when um, one of the things that I was kind of thinking of when um, throughout the day today was um, managing expectations. You know, when that guy walked out, I expected the, well, A, I expected him to cause a huge scene. And I was a little disappointed that he didn't. I was expecting for him to cuss out the manager and, you know, just throw stuff and raise holy hell. Um, not because that's the type of person he is, um, but, you know, I mean, come on. Let's, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do something so dramatic, put on a show. But nothing like that happened. Um, I simply shook his hand and wished him the best. But after management, um, you know, eventually found out that he wasn't there and he wasn't coming back, uh, I expected him to run over and be like, you can absorb his salary. They didn't even mention him to me. You'd think they'd come to me, the guy who's working side by side with him. Well, now I'm working. He's kind of just standing there or in the bathroom the whole time. But um, you'd think they would have come to me and, and, you know, asked what was going on and what had happened and da 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 da. Not a word. So I expected someone else to act a certain way. And it didn't happen that way. Another thing is, I, um, I'm i still trying to get my driver's license back. My Georgia license is valid. Um, you know, I've paid all the fines, I've, I've paid my dues in that, and it's valid. But I called them yesterday, and the only way that I can get a copy of my license is to actually go there because I have to take a new picture. Really? The license was good for like, 10 years or something. You think I've really changed that month much in, you know, a year? Not so much. So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So I'm like, well, what, what can I do? I mean, I, I moved up to North Carolina and they're like, well, you have to contact North Carolina to see if they'll take a certified motor vehicle report. I'm like, okay. So I tried calling the state uh, DMV uh, to see uh, of North Carolina to see if they would do it and I was on hold and hold and hold and hold and then eventually they're like our call, vo call volume is too high goodbye and that was it <laughs> that was done they they hung up on me I'm like well crap so I then called a local DMV location <laughs> and I talked to the guy who I had to talk to to get my state ID, you know, a couple of months ago. Father Time. He's, he's got to be older than dirt, I swear. And he told me that, no, you, we won't accept a certified uh, vehicle report. You have to come in. You have to do the vision test. You have to do the science test. You have to do the written test. And you have to do the driving test. How many hoops do I have to jump through to get this stupid license back? I mean, really, what is going on? My expectation was I would call him and he'd be like, oh, sure, no problem. For you, Josh, we'd do anything. Come on down. We'll give you your license. Don't even worry about it. That didn't happen. That did not happen even in the slightest. So, because I'm still skeptical about Father Time, um, I'm going to get a hold of the state DMV and, uh, and really get solid information. Because if they say yes, then I'm going to um, the DMV with that certified thing and hand it across the desk and say, give me my license. But we'll see. I guess after having gone through all this, what's 
what's one more step, I guess. But I can't expect the state to, you know, do what I want them to. I have to manage those expectations. You know, it was so much easier when I was younger, I think. I was a, I was a good-looking guy, charismatic, outgoing. Um, you know, I helped anyone who needed help and it seems like I always got my way. You know, if I'd ask someone, you know, I I knew how to push their buttons or I knew how to, you know, kind of wiggle my way in there with some charm or, uh, you know, just kind of flash these green eyes and be like, please. And they'd be like, okay. All right, Joshua. It doesn't work anymore. What happened to me? What happened? I still got these devilishly good look looks, although I was on the phone. Maybe if I went down there in, perp on, in person and just kind of dressed up kind of nice. And be, although I guess Father Time still probably wouldn't give me what I want, huh? <laughs> Maybe I'll have to go to like one of the younger ladies or something and just kind of kind of wink at her and, and flirt a little bit. Maybe she can maybe she can move some stuff around or, or like call in a favor or something. Oh God. Anyway, my friends, I'm gonna have to close it out for tonight. I've got uh, to jump in that preliminary course. I have to get at least an hour done today. Um, I'm probably gonna try and do an hour and a half, um, you know, just because I, I, by Tuesday, I have to have 15 hours in. So the videos might be a little sporadic this week. They might be shorter, um, but I thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your support. You can show me more support by giving me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit that bell when you subscribe so you get notified each time I create a video. Though that change series is coming. I promise you it's coming. So make sure to hit that bell when you subscribe so you get notified as soon as I launch it. It'll probably be in the next couple of weeks, but because I want to make sure that it's it's well done. Um, and it's going to be super valuable. Um, and then comment down below, my friends. What expectations have you had that were just totally smashed? <laughs> when, when was a time that you expected to go in, get your way, and you just kind of fell on your face? Because it happens to all of us. The only thing that we can do is kind of brush it off, smile, and put on that charm for the next person, I guess. But anyway, my friends, I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Have a wonderful evening. Take care.